How's it going guys? Chris back here again with more Historic Brawl. Today we're actually looking at a commander who very well may be the strongest commander in their color combination. And this is a commander that has a reputation for being quite difficult to play against. Um, but that's more so in Hunt Commander than actual Historic Brawl. So... Um, I don't actually know how well she's going to do. Um, that being said, she was banned in Brawl for a sizable amount of time, and I thought she was banned in Historic Brawl, but she was on the list of commanders, so I guess she wasn't. And that commander, as you will see here in just a second, is... Winota, Joiner of Forces. Um, so we are playing the... We're playing the plan that we always play with Winota, Joiner of Forces. It's dogs and Winota. Excuse me. Yeah, no, this is this is always the plan. So next time we get down welcoming vampire and then hopefully on turn four we can Winota for a bunch and make our opponent sad. If not, we'll go into our Warhound and draw a card. Drawing a card is good. So I guess they're Sliver Shrines. They might just be Shrines. Um, because Shrine is not something you play in Slivers. So this might be an opponent who just didn't have another 5 color uh, commander. And so... They threw their Sliver Overlord as the leader of the deck and went from there. Although there might be a Sliver Shrine variant out there because Shrines aren't that hard to, um, to slot into a deck. Uh, huh. So, Combat Celebrant. So I guess we get a uh, one drop red creature, so... Cobalt. We don't actually have a way to trigger Cobalt, we just have him in the deck because... He's pretty cool. No, he has Menace. He's hard to block. That gives us an additional trigger if they can't block him. Yeah, so these three creatures are the only ones they can actually block. Yeah, it's our turn. Gain your two life because next turn's not going to be a fun one. Well, if we get another turn, it won't be a fun one. So, one of the bad things about Winota is that things with attack triggers don't actually work with Winota. First turn, they're brought out. But that's not so much of a problem for us. Um, resolve. They're going to need to build a really big board really quick. Which, with slivers, they can do. It's not an impossible feat. <laughs> so they get another one-drop sliver if they have it? They have outcast, don't they? Changeling outcast, yeah. 
I still am pretty sure they're just dead. Like, it's gonna be awful to attempt to prevent this from happening. Yeah, I'm, they're, they're dead. Hmm. Next. Attack all. Exert. Uh, one damage. One damage. And submit zero. I can't pay. So I will take um, this. I will take this. I will take this. Now we need the well. So they have they have bad blocks, honestly. I should have attacked with Wyona. Oh, well, that sucks. Yeah, Volatile Arsonist um, solved their problems for us. Thank God. Uh, one, one, zero. Whew. So that was a turn five kill. Pretty okay. This is a step above what we considered the best girl commander. Which, we'll probably have to revisit that at some point in the future. Maybe after Kamigawa Neon Dynasty comes out. I don't know offhand if there is a girl commander in Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. I feel like I saw one during spoiler seasons, but I don't know if I saw it and it had the Neon Dynasty logo in its corner, or if it had the Neon Dynasty commander symbol in the lower corner. Because if it had the commander symbol, it's probably not coming to Arena, and if it didn't, it probably will. Keep. We're going to lead on the Warhound, and the Hellhound. Um, Kamen Keeper can be number two, because he just seems like a number two, you know? Eh. A Chrome Hellhound is just a better better attacker. This is exactly how last game went. Um, we might have to play Season Pyromancer. Yeah, we do. Which kind of sucks. Uh, I'm gonna discard these two, and I'll draw two, and then no attack. So next turn, we're going off. 
We are going off. Winona's broken. She is broken. Um, I bought a Winona deck for $20 on MTGO. I played it once and then I never played it again. Because even though I lost, I came in third place having only reached four lands the last turn of the game. So I guess she's better at the moment. Nothing there. He's cool. That's amazing. Um, more value? So the Dryad dies. Commander, everything dies. Very sad. Do you have a wrath? If you don't, the game is over. Eh, you had one. If you don't, the game is over. Rude. Nothing. Guess Giant Killer's gonna. Yeah, he's not really that much value with a tapper. I guess he could be, but... You use him to tap my pack leader, I just attack in with Winona. You use him to attack Winona, I just attack in with pack leader. It's a bad situation all around. Cather's Crusade? Um, Ranger Captain does more damage. Take action. Minion? Okay. Yeah, our opponent was dead. So, 13 minutes in, two victories, no losses. We've successfully survived a board wipe, um, which is not something that a lot of aggro decks do. But to be fair, this is kind of what you expect from Winota. She comes down and she wins the game. And it kind of felt like that when I was playing her in Commander too. It just felt like... Um, it felt like you were playing your own game, you know? That you were not playing a game of Magic against an opponent. You were playing a game of Solitaire. And... As soon as you had all of your aces in the top row... That game was pretty well over by then. <sighs> now, she was more fun in standard. Um, I know anyone that played with during her standard period, where she was in the limelight, will disagree with that statement because she was only really fun if you were playing her. She wasn't fun to play against. Like, having an agent of treachery come down and steal your only hope of getting back into the game was 
it was heartbreaking in the worst possible way. Like, it let you believe that you could win, and then it just consistently dashed your hopes. So this is a little slower, but we're going to keep it. We have three out of our four lands. We have a way to slow down their early game, and we have an attacker. This is in our deck because it makes tokens that can trigger white on even though they're cats. <laughs> our opponent was looking at our commander, thinking to themselves that they had queued into the wrong game mode. I can't blame them for that. Is it only if a component controls more lands? Okay, so we're actually going to lead on Selfless Savior. Warhound does more damage, but... This actually gets us our fourth land on turn three. Which is a little crazy, to be honest. Looks like we didn't actually need it, but... Go, go, selfless savior. They don't really have anything that goes quarter. If we only had one white source, that might have been a viable option. So they're going to do this two more times. They're not trying to ghost quarter lock us because they know our mana base is basic lands. Can they keep going? Shared something. But we're going to have to hurt him quick, because that opponent is getting close to being the bad. They're just bad for us. For next turn. So if they can combo win this turn, they got us, which this has been used as a combo before. So if we draw a land, it doesn't really matter if they kill one or not. They don't have anything else to play. So we're going to auto-pass this, so that way they don't have to keep asking us. I was hoping that Arena would stop asking us. You should know how auto-pass works, Arena. Kind of sucks. It might cost us the game.
So we saved the vampire. Welcoming vampire is very good card draw. Yeah, that doesn't trigger Thorn Mammoth, so... Why are they playing lands at instant speed? Oh, to the Cultivator Colossus. We, have we lost? No, okay. I was afraid we might have lost there. Because I know there are combos in the card. I don't know if they're in Historic Brawl, though. They're not, right? Auto pass. I should have put Brutal Cathar in this deck. Because then that would be a way to get an answer to all of this awfulness. Ah, uh, well that's a whiff. That's not good. I guess that. Uh, that's odd. That is odd, so gonna get protection from odd. Seems good. Oh, if a source you can draw. I'll take this and this. So we have successfully pulled off our two card combos, again, third time in a row. Um, I don't know why this is allowed, but our opponent can block three things and they're going to take double damage from everything else, so I hope they've enjoyed this game of magic. It's indestructible, please read the card. Before you become sad. They did not read the card and they became sad. Alright, that was game three. We're going to stop here. I do not want to inflict any more of this on the ladder. The ladder has been good to me. I should not be treating it so badly. Either way. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode, whatever that may be.